It took more than a hundred years, but a woman finally returned an overdue book to the Patterson Public Library. She found the copy of Shakespeare's Henry V at her home in the town of Denver. The two date on that February 1st, 1923. And lucky for her, the library waived the late fees. Here's Eyewitness News reporter Stacy Sager. A phenomenal occurrence. Uh, it's the first time that uh, something has happened to me in, in, in the line of work. Because let's face it, work here at the public library doesn't always grab a headline, but this time a remarkable book return, 101 years and eight months after the fact. It was Shakespeare's Life of King Henry V, and it was due back at the Patterson Public Library on February 1st of 1923. It was found on this bookshelf here in Colorado as Cynthia DeLay was recently decluttering. It's a tiny book. And um, its cover was tattered, but not badly, not too badly. Cynthia telling us by phone she inherited the book from her grandmother, Arlene, in 1995. From the get-go, I knew it was old. I did not know how old. She also didn't know it didn't really belong to her until she spotted the library card, which says it was last checked out by one Lillian Burns, a name Cynthia doesn't recognize. But it was checked out when Grandma Arlene would have been only six years old. That's way too young for Shakespeare. She was in awe that she found the book, and uh, and I guess that she found the book, but she also um, connected it to its, uh, its, 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 its rightful owner. As Shakespeare would say, no legacy is so rich as honesty. That's how I looked at it. It was not my book. It was the library's book. I just didn't want to send it if they were going to charge me. <laughs> it, would, it would be a lot of money. <laughs> $3,686 to be exact. I would charge 10 cents a day uh, for the price of a book. But of course, they waived that fee. The rest, well, it's history. The book with a backstory even old William would have loved. It's expected to be on display here very soon. In Patterson, I'm Stacy Sager, Channel 7 Eyewitness News.